Hello and welcome to Tech Support. My name is Alexa Mee and today we're going to talk about how to bounce a flash. This will be more useful for indoor photography, although it could potentially be used for taking pictures outside. I'm going to show you the differences when the flash is off, directly facing the subject, when we're bouncing it off a ceiling, off a wall next to the subject, or off a wall behind me, the photographer. Here's our control photo, a portrait without the use of any flash. For the purpose of this video, I will have the blinds closed so the outside light don't affect the results, and I will not touch the light present and turned on in the room. Here is what happens when the flash is directed right at the subject. As you can see, the subject appears very ghostly and very lit up, but not in a flattering way. Something to also keep in mind is if there is a wall close enough behind your subject and you're shining a flash directly at them, a very striking shadow will appear behind them on the wall. Now let's look at the result of bouncing the flash off the ceiling. As you can see, the lighting of the overall picture is good, but the reflection of the flash off the ceiling creates a shadow on the neck and below the nose because of the natural features of the face. Here is what happens when you shine the flash at a wall on either side of the subject. For this, you want to make sure that the flash is either perfectly sideways or slightly angled towards you, the photographer, and not the subject, or it will have the same effect as if the flash is facing your subject directly. So as you can see in the photo, having the flash to the side of the subject illuminates only one side of the subject, therefore creating a shadow on the other side of their face. This could be desired if wanting to create a dramatic effect of some kind, but it's not what we're looking for here. Now here is a picture where the subject is turned sideways and their face is turned towards the wall you're shining the flash at. As you can see, this makes for a very good profile picture as it illuminates the face and creates a shadow on the back of the head and neck, creating a beautiful effect intensifying the features of the face. Now here is the result when turning the flash towards a wall behind you the photographer. You want to angle the flash a little up towards the ceiling so your body is not blocking too much of the reflection. As you can see, this is the best option for the best lighting as the face is lit up in all areas without any undesired shadows and by bouncing off the flash we are softening up the harshness of the flash and creating an overall softer and full lighting. The color of the wall will not make much of a difference. Of course, a white wall will reflect the light much better than a darker colored wall. An issue you might run into is not having a wall close enough behind you. If that happens, you can work out something by either reducing the intensity of the flash and trying to find a good angle to bounce it off another wall around you. Something to keep in mind is that the wall you're gonna use needs to be close enough to you for the light to bounce off of it. If the wall is too far, nothing will happen. If you are filming outside, you might find a wall to bounce your flash off of, but depending on the material and the color of the wall, it might make the light of your flash ineffective. Thanks for watching. This has been Tech Support with Alexa Me.